Hi, this is Sally Snail. So today I thought I'd share with you some of the books that I've been reading. Yeah, because there's not really much that we can do. But one thing that I have been doing is I've still been looking out for deals and stuff. We went to Target and we both opened a red card. So we bought, I think, $100 worth of groceries for I want to say less than two dollars like less than a dollar fifty <laughs> I have a lot of snacks at home now I wanted to share some of the books that I have been reading throughout quarantine so I, I think what happened was the library wasn't open until May or it was open but I was also in the process of moving so I only started reading around May but if you don't like old-timey stuff most of these recommendations are probably not gonna be for you so I like murder mysteries I've already been reading the Gaslight series by Victoria Thompson and it's very good but it's like set in the really old days back when there were buggies you know like the horse carriages and stuff I think the author does a lot of research because in the afterward she always mentions that she wanted to include like certain parts but it just didn't happen in history yet so I appreciate that then you get to see how all of a sudden automobiles <laughs> become a thing. I think it's just like a really great murder mystery series. At the same time, it's kind of unrealistic that so many murders happen and this one lady who delivers babies just happens to be connected to every single murder <laughs> or she just happens to be somehow related enough. The one thing I don't like about the Gaslight series is that there was this one book where it was literally like a game of telephone. It was this guy was telling this guy who told this girl what happened and then they went back and told the other person. But she stopped doing that in the next book so I was very grateful for that. I've moved on to the Macy Dobbs novels. They're also sort of like a murder mystery. It's set in the UK instead of the US. The Gaslight series is set in New York, so you'll see a lot of New York landmarks and stuff mentioned. I don't know much about New York. The Macy Job series is set in the UK. I know nothing about the UK. The author, Jacqueline Winspear, was actually born I don't know, I think she lived in Kent. With the Macy Dobbs novels, it's very much like you're in her head and you see what clues might be there. Sometimes it's like a flashback and you're like, what's going on? For this one, it takes me a lot longer to read than the Gaslight series. With all the Gaslight series, it usually starts with murder on this street or murder at like this place. I think it might be a little alarming for some people. <laughs> There are quite a few books, at least 12. So that took me quite a while. And then Macy Dobbs has, I have it in my notes section. There are 16 books for Macy Dobbs. Yeah, I'm on the fifth and the sixth one. I am on An Incomplete Revenge. And then the next one I have is Among the Mad. So those are the next two I'm reading. Let's see, some other books that I've read during quarantine or during lockdown have been Grass. So this one is sort of like a comic book about comfort women. If you don't know, it's when things like World War II. Okay, so comfort women are generally women who are taken against their will and then they're forced into a brothel type of environment and they have to comfort the soldiers. So that's what it's about and it's just about this one woman's story. Most of them are very, very old now. Um, like. I, don't, I feel like they're probably in their 80s. So in Grass, it's about a woman who just learns about this old lady's story. So, and then she finds out that she was a comfort woman and she just becomes friends with her in this nursing home. It's a little depressing, so I understand if you don't want to read that. And I read Sex and Vanity by Kevin Kwan. He wrote Crazy Rich Asians and the whole series on that. I finished the series like three years ago. I feel like his books are pretty similar. There's like some woman who is stuck in a relationship and the guy is like clearly not really into her and it's just like in the relationship for money or the status. I felt like the storyline was drawn out a little bit too long in the beginning. I also finished reading Minor Feelings and Asian American Reckoning. It's about a woman who grows up in the US and she is Asian American and it's mostly just about her experiences growing up in an Asian American household and then like certain instances in her life where she's like oh okay like why did this happen and then she realizes it's because there are certain assumptions about Asian American women and so that's why maybe the police don't look into certain things. Yeah some of the books get a little bit depressing so that's why I go back to reading historical fiction. So those are some of the books that I have been reading 
Let me know what you've been reading. If you have any suggestions, just leave them down below. I would love to be able to read some stuff. I tried to read this one book. It was called The Empress of Salt and Fortune, but I just couldn't get really into it. And then I found out there was actually a couple books in the series and I was just like, yeah, this is just going to be like one of the books I let go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>